Hey, thank you for stopping by. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Ariel and welcome to my kitchen. Today we'll be making a healthy shepherd's pie with everyday ingredients made from my pantry. You ready? Let's go. For healthy shepherd's pie, you'll need these ingredients. I found these ingredients in my pantry. Don't be afraid to substitute or add to this recipe to make it your own. Think about the ingredients. Okay, we're gonna turn our stove on to a medium heat. So we're having about a six. And then I'm gonna add my olive oil to my pot. And we're gonna wait for it to heat up. All right, so our oil is heating up nicely. And I added garlic. Now I'm going to add onions to the mix. All right. And I'm going to add the carrot. As well as the squash. And then I'm give it a good stir. Alright, so we're gonna allow the onions and the carrots and the garlic to cook with the olive oil and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so while this is cooking, I'm gonna add my ground meat. I'm using ground turkey. So now that the meat is cooked all the way through, I am going to take my flour and I'm going to put that in. I'm doing two tablespoons of flour and we're going to give that a good stir. We're going to let it cook for another two or so minutes. Alright, so now I'm going to add my two teaspoons of tomato paste. one teaspoon of Worcester salt. And then I'm gonna add my chicken broth. And give it a good stir. What you want to do at this point is reduce your heat. I've dropped my heat down to a low, about a two on our stove. I want to continually stir and keep an eye on this pot. But now that it's at a good simmer, I'm going to cover it and allow it to continue simmering for a good 10 to 12 minutes. And I'm going to continue checking on it and to see if um, the sauce has, or the juices, however you want to look at it, 
has thickened up. And that's when I'll know that it's ready to come off the fire. All right? Okay, so the meat is nice and cooked. And we're gonna add our already cooked uh, corn. the mixture. Stir it in nicely. Okay you guys, um, this is what my shepherd's pie looks like before I put it in the oven. Um, make sure you get all of the edges and sides um, coated with the sweet potato potato mixture so that the oil from the meat mixture does not bubble over and out of your pan. Um, my pan was already oiled down uh, before I placed my shepherd's pie in it. You can use parchment paper if you want to, um, instead of using oil, that's fine. I'm gonna put this in the oven for 25 minutes. I have my oven on 400 degrees. You can put it on 350, it's just gonna take a little longer. And you're looking to see if the potato mixture has turned a nice golden brown. And of course, the sweet potatoes are a little orange already. So we're looking for that uh, crisp and done look from our potatoes. Um, all right, you guys, see you in a minute. All right, the sharpest pot is finished. Let's just taste this. I'm gonna dig right in. Mm. Mm. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Comment below and let me know how you like it. It was awesome cooking with you all. I'll see you next time.